Welcome to third bracket. Today we will discuss about unit test in Flutter. First of all, I will discuss why we need unit test. Suppose there is a manager who wants to complete a project by some developers with some specifications and conditions to meet the required goals of that project. After some, after some specific time, maybe the developers will complete the project successfully but there is no guarantee that the developers will be in the project forever maybe they will go to another company or maybe they will shift to an another section of their current company and at that moment the new developers will come in and that time the manager will have to make the new developers understand about all the specifications and conditions to get the outcome as the manager wants so that moment there's a high chance that the new developers will change something out of their consciousness it may happen like the new developers are not in the project from the beginning so at that moment if there's any change comes then how the manager will handle and how the manager will find out the differences like where the difference has occurred if if there is no unit test then the, the then then the manager will have to spend a lot of time to figure out the differences but if there is unit test the manager will be able to figure out the differences very efficiently and just uh, just after a few seconds after executing the test so here is the first case and the second case is the technical changes like the data the manager uh, the manager expecting 100 data from the database but the database has changed and it is giving it is giving like 90 data it is not expected value so here how the manager will understand that where is the problem like like by that unit test the manager will successfully handle the whole project and maintain all the goals and specifications efficiently this is the reason why unit test is important and right now we will see how we can implement unit test in our simple project that we have made in our last video if you want to watch the video you can find it in the description below and also at the top of the screen right now so here is the project that we have made in the last video and to do our unit test first of all we have to inject the test in our uh, dependency like here in our dev dependency we will not inject our test inside the dependencies instead we will inject that in dev dependencies because we are testing it only in the development development period not in the not after the development period so that's why we will, we will say in the terminal i'm taking a new terminal and here we will say flutter pub add test and dev run it's fine if we pop get and here you can see the test has injected in the dev dependencies that's fine then come here in the test directory we will make a file we will call it
unit test see. and here we will say void main and we will just check that if if we are getting our data successfully or not we will just implement a simple unit test right here import our flutter test and inside of our main function we will say test and the description will be the name of the test like fetch api and the body will be sync fine and we will take a boolean value And we will initialize that as false. And after that, we will fetch the API. And we'll, we will initialize the data on a variable like fetch and then repository. We are calling our repository from here. From here, and after that, from repository, we are getting that function get data. And as it is async, we have to say await, and we will wrap it. Then we will take the data, then products, and then results. Then null setting. That's it. And then we will check if if the fetch not equal to null. If the fetch is not equal to null, then we will make the done as true. That's it. If we are successfully getting the data from here, and as we are putting that in the fetch variable, if at the time the fetch variable will not be empty or null, and after that we are checking if the page variable is not equal to null then we are we will say the done is true that means the that means the URL fetched the data successfully and then we will expect like ex we will expect done as true because we are calling the data and as expected we should get it as true but if we don't get true then the test will fail and we will know that the data we are calling we are not getting it so there is the problem and then here in the terminal in the terminal we will test we will say flutter test and the file name is the directory test then unit test dot dark let's see we'll get some warning that's fine. 
no warning and you can see all tests passed there's only one test and it passed we got the data and it is telling us that yes it got the data and there is no problem as we expected and like here if we say false what will happen like the done shouldn't be shouldn't be true instead the done should be false after calling the data let's see what will happen you can see some tests failed here you can identify where is the problem happening and why it's not and not only one test you can apply on your project you can take multiple tests of uh, multiple tasks and individually you can test so that you can identify and you can get the expected result easily so I'm making it true and yes it was the unit test for today so that's for today and thanks for watching and subscribe my channel i'll be uploading all kinds of videos that might help you in the near future thanks again